Happy New, New Year's, Year's, guys. Struggle, Struggle buddies. buddies. <laughs> How y'all doing? I hope y'all having a good New Year. Yes, yes. Hope y'all brought in the New Year. Awesome. Had fun. Enjoyed yourself. Whether you relax, sleep, That's party. Right. Whatever the case may be, we hope Leaving you Leaving all it. of 2018 behind because this is y'all's new beginning. Yes, it is. So yes, it is. Do this. A better version of you. That's what we say. We don't do the new year, new me, because that don't ever be. It's you 2.0. <laughs> <laughs> right. A better version of you. Still yep. you, just a better version. Working on you every year, making progress. So as you can tell by the title, this video will be about getting started That's getting right. started on your weight loss journey again disclaimer we were probably doing every video to prevent the trolls and the arguments we're not dietitians we're not health experts none of that type of stuff we are just simply an overweight married couple with two people that want to be on weight. a white on the right <laughs> I said white, white on the right track that's what we want to do we want to get all life on the right track yes there yes, go. so these are just tips and tricks we've picked up, or we are actually picking up and going to go by and use, and we want to share them with you all, as we said. That's right. So, without further ado, we're going to get to it. Let's now. get to it. We're going to get to it. Hi. All right, so first. <laughs> first thing first, check with your health care provider. When starting your weight loss journey, if you have a health care provider, check with your health care provider because you can go in and get your starting weight. This will help. For you to keep track of your goals and if you're making progress and this will help not. set your goals yes exactly you can also find out um your if you have any health issues that you need to work on if there's foods that maybe you need to lay off of or incorporate if there are exercises yes. that you can incorporate or maybe you need to stay away from mm -hmm. all of those different things you need to know your healthcare professional can give you that's right that information if you don't have a healthcare professional you can do it yourself Hey, that's what we're going to do. We're, we're on both ends, so we're telling you this. He has her health care professional. I don't. Yeah. So I will weigh myself at home. I have a scale at home that I purchase. I weigh myself at home. If you don't have one, poor purchase one. That They're very cheap. If you can't purchase one at the moment, you can stop by a gym or a Y, or if you have a family or friend member with a scale, you ain't got to tell them what you're doing. Nothing. Just go by there. Step on the scale, get your weight real quick, and you so can you have a recorded weight. <laughs> and you can also go, I know everyone has a Facebook nowadays, you can go to the Facebook and uh, go to the, uh, go, well, they have the little sales, the little uh, sales, marketplace. the marketplace on yep. Facebook. I got mine there. Wants to name. That's what she got hers for, on 10 bucks. You know, and scales are fairly inexpensive. Mm -hmm. Walmart. Um, Walmart gives good digital, but yes. as I digress, we are moving on. That's yes. we, I just want to put that out there to you <laughs> So, if you don't have a healthcare professional, you can do it at home. We're winging it. We're, we are going by what we're learning. So, of course, common sense is going to tell me I need to lay off the fried foods. I need to incorporate more chickens and vegetables and things more like water, that. More water. You know, things pop. like that. So, yeah. without a healthcare professional, don't feel discouraged. You can still get yourself on the right track. Mm -hmm. Next step will be, oh, if you see me looking down, it's because we took notes. So Yeah, we took try to keep up because yeah. I'm a talker, so I have to keep myself on track. <laughs> Next step is keep a daily record of your activities, your eating, and your drinking. And this is something simple. It don't have to be crazy. You don't have to go crazy about it. Just a simple notebook, a pad, anything you want to keep. Mm -hmm. And just write down every day what you're eating, what you're drinking, how much activity you feel that you're getting in. And this will help you see where you're making progress, where you might need to change, where you might need to add in more, which you might right. need to take away. All of those different things. So just start your activity log of that, and this will also help you stay on track. Okay. Next thing, get seven to nine hours of sleep. Now I know it's hard for yes, a lot of people, especially if you have I kids. Don't get, <laughs> I can't remember the last time I've gotten seven to nine hours of sleep, and I, I'm being honest. And that's not like in the last week or month. That's since I've had toddlers, so starting about five, at least five years ago. <laughs> Yes. I don't remember the last time I've got that much sleep, but it is very, very important. So try your best to get as much sleep as possible. That's what we say. Don't focus on the seven to nine hours or if you didn't get that many hours, you feel like you're not doing it right. No, just get as much as possible and just try to keep progressing every time you can. And if you are a social person, like you want to do like the social media content, Instagram, Facebook, set a time and like, okay, you know what? Nine o'clock. 
shuts down. Everything mm-hmm. shuts down. That's I mean, yes. like phone calls or whatever, yes. unless it's an emergency. Yes. Don't pick up. Mm-hmm. Just kind of turn the TV off. You know, worry about the news <laughs> in the morning or whatever. Yes. You know, if anyone try to call you, hey, text me. Whatever, I get up and I read it in the morning, unless it's an emergency or something. Mm-hmm. Or, like I said, with the social media and everything, put the phone down, just close your eyes. Yes. That's all you have to do, Yes, because it can be very distracting. It can be I've, very I've distracting. Where, whereas, at the point you look up, two hours went past, and it's you're like, oh, I only, 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 rolled two, I only read two posts. <laughs> no, let's put that down and so get some true. sleep. So, so that's what we're incorporating. I know yes. for a fact. Well, I don't really do social media like that. No way. Yes, yeah, me. So, I, I mean, I watch news or whatnot, but other than that, Putting the phone down, putting the kids down, I'm going to sleep. Mm-hmm. Simple as that. Very true. And I, I am a witness to that, just to throw in real quick. Social media can distract you. I've done it. I've gotten to a point where I'm on the phone. I'm like, I'm just checking real quick because I ain't been on there. And I look up in three, four hours, and I'm like, dude, I'm still scrolling. Like, I'm what in the world? Go, and you know everybody got a bad on the, on the toilet. We ain't going to go there. Yeah, you be on there for hours. hours. Yeah. Legs numb. <laughs> next subject, though. Let's stay on track. <laughs> So the next thing we have is, oh, weigh-ins. You want to pick a time that you're going to weigh in and keep that consistent. For us, we've decided once a month. But, I repeat, do not overdo your weigh-ins. It will stress you out. Weight fluctuates. Even when you're eating right and doing everything, it still fluctuates for many Especially different reasons. Do not overdo your weigh-in. Especially in the morning. Weigh yourself in the morning. First thing in the morning, normally after you use the restroom, is the best time to weigh yourself. That's what we've discovered. That's what we have discovered. And it has been best for us. So that's what we'll do once a month. After that, do your best to make healthy choices. We know it's going to be hard. It's be a little better right now because we've gotten past all the holidays. But we know people still have birthdays coming up. People have events. Valentine's you have Day weddings, Valentine, all of the stuff that will make you go out and just want to enjoy yourself, have a good time, have them drinks, have them meals. Do your best to make good choices. We in it this year. This 2019, we said it's us. We struggle buddies together. Ain't nobody perfect. We ain't going to always make the best choices. But we want to. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Cut off. <laughs> but we want to do our best to make those good choices. Instead of getting that pizza. Get that salad, get get the baked chicken, get the broccoli, get the vegetables. Instead of getting all that pop, get get the water, put a little lemon in it, something like that. Flavor. Flavor, you got flavor water. Just, we got this, y'all. We got this. Next step, last, well, last one for this discussion is be honest. Be honest with yourself. Yes. When we say this, we mean don't set goals, expectations that you know you're not going to make. Because you feel like you're in a rush yes. to get this done. And this is not a bad thing. This is literally, don't sit here and say, okay, I'm 220 pounds. By the end of this month, I'm about to be one 120. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's be realistic. Time. That's what we're saying. Don't feel like you got to rush yourself. Don't feel like you got to immediately just stop at everything you love and change everything you eat. And your life is just going to be horrible so that you can get healthy. No, that's no. Like, if you're a person, that, cons- if you're a person that consumes maybe... Four or five pops, sodas. How about be honest with yourself and say, you know what? Maybe I can take this four or five and down it to one or two. Mm-hmm. You know, set it for yourself. I have one at lunch and I have one at dinner. Mm-hmm. You know, not in between. Mm-hmm. Like, that's how we say, be honest with yourself. Make some cutbacks. Yep. That's all you have to do. That's what that's I'm it. doing. Like, now, mm-hmm. I'm doing. I love my sodas. I love my diet sodas. Man, yeah. I really do. I can drink a whole case one day by myself. But, like I said, we said, I'm honest with myself. I can have one or two. I can have one at lunch. And I can have one at dinner. That's it. Other than that, hey, we cool. Yep. That's simple. So just set goals. They're realistic for yourself. Be honest about what you want to do and what you know that you can do at the moment. And start there. And this will be the beginning of our journey. So, we hope you love this video. Like, like comment, comment, subscribe. subscribe become, become a struggle, struggle buddy. buddy with us so we can struggle together through 2019 and be struggle successors. <laughs> if that's even a word. <laughs> we're going to probably get, we're going to make, make some t-shirts say once we reach our goal and say the struggle was real. real. I know, right? That's so what we going to do. Hey, don't nobody, don't nobody take that. You should have said that yet. Don't nobody take that. Now, it's all me right here. This is mine. I'm patting that. It's the struggle was real. <laughs> This is going to be a success for y'all, man. But we love y'all. 
Hope you enjoyed it as always. We will see y'all in our next video. Take those tips. Let's get started. And we'll see you in the next one. Love you. Love it, y'all. We out. <laughs>